Come on, come on. Can someone say hi to YouTube for me? Come on. Please. I'm dying. Stop leaving me. All right, hello everybody. It's me, Clock, and we're playing Silver Thread Duh. A horror game about a paranormal investigator who doesn't believe in ghosts. Encore, encore. A stray of steed is showered with endless applause after- Oh god, tickets are selling out like peanuts this Christmas season. Everyone's craving to see a glimpse of her unique twist. It's going so fast! I'm not clicking on anything, chat. This is just like real life TV. Oh my god, it's so fast. Okay, well, hopefully you read that, everybody. A prince? But now I can press? Okay. You still believe in things like that? Should I not? This is true to every fairy tale. It's not like I can tell you what to do. What exactly makes someone a prince anyway? Don't you know? A prince is someone that saves the princess. I, uh, I, I guess in one way. Maybe sometime. Oh, puppy. Alicia, Alicia. Alicia, wake up. Huh? Huh? By the way, this is, uh, this game has a prequel. I, I did not play the prequel. Maybe we'll play it after this. What the hell was that? My dream was all jumbled up. Alicia! Alicia! Uh, my boss is preoccupied at the moment. What can I help you with? I should really get up. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Should change my clothes first. Okay. Use the arrow keys to move and Z to interact with your surroundings. Wow, I am, I am bed rotting. Other buildings tower over the complex. Blocking most of the sunlight. Guess that's why rent, rent's so cheap. Nice. Okay. Can I comment on the amount of food and bags on the ground? Your bed. You never bothered to buy a bed frame. Oh my... You conv you've convinced yourself that this is more practical. I mean, at, at least this way you'll never... You'll know that the boogeyman's never underneath your bed. Oh. Got changed. Much better. I don't know if I'm a dude or a girl. Or if I'm non-binary. If, if I'm any of those things and I've misgendered them already, I'm sorry. I don't I don't really know. You've moved here months ago, but you still haven't finished sorting your things out. I don't really know. Dude, I didn't even read the description for this game. We're just downloading games out here. You're too busy to think about laundry right now. Oh, okay. Sure, put it off again. Put on those shoes. Put on those shoes. Boys will live like that, and they won't say anything. They'll think nothing is wrong, by the way. <laughs> just TV. It just bed on the ground. Not even a TV, actually. Even worse. <laughs> Boogeyman under my bed, and he's not paying rent? Yo. I'll get haunted as much as he likes, as long as he's paying. Alicia, what took you so long? Why did you wake me up? It's, is a spider loose again? <laughs> No, it's something serious Serious this time. Someone called for an exorcism. And the client's someone famous, which means we'll get paid well. Famous. Yeah, do you remember the theater broadcast that we watched last night? The one that got cut off for technical difficulties? Looked like a big mess. Yeah, the main actress herself, Estrella Flaysteed, called us. You know, the blonde one. I don't know if I want to get involved in something like that. The theater type tends to get too dramatic for my taste. Might be w more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> uh, so I have bad news for you. You already accepted the job, didn't you? It's not like we can afford to be picky right now. Do you want to start Christmas in the red? I guess not. Did she say where she is? I'd like to get more details before we do anything. Yep, she said we can go just go find her in the theater itself. Oh, and I think there's more details about the incident on today's paper. You should give it a look. And you can talk to me if you want to ask for more details or show me anything. Thanks. Bruh. Bruh. My name is Alicia? 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 No, it's Alicia. Alicia Wilkershire. Wilk Wilkshire? Wilkershire. And I'm an independent or exorcist. This guy's Buford. Buford? Buford or Buford? I think it'd be Beford, right? Beford, but I'm gonna call him Buford. He was a pa Buford. He was a past client's son, but through one reason or another, he ended up working for me. I had my doubts when I first hired him, but he starts to get the hang of this assistant thing. 
Although he's still much better at cooking and doing chores. <laughs> That's a great image. I guess he was serious when he told me his dream is to be a house husband. Based. Based. A king. A king, chat. Same. I'm a master in the kitchen, ladies. Please. I won't clean, though. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a bit of a, a mess. You thought this was a joke? You thought that was a joke? <laughs> I personally don't see the appeal. <laughs> no, dude. That's so rude. No. No, I didn't mean to go in there. I just wanted to walk past the door. You set the mirror too high. I can barely see my face on it. I wasn't expecting a roommate, especially one as short as you. I'm pretty sure you're the one who's too tall. I'm not moving in. Just stand on a box or something. I'd rather just use the bathroom mirror. <laughs> Why are you complaining? Excuse me, is he just sleeping on the couch? Are you really okay with sleeping here? It's not the worst. I want a desk more than a bed, honestly. Can't you just use the office desk downstairs? The atmosphere is not right when I just want to fool around. What? It's like I automatically switch to work mode when I'm in the office, you know? It's not like you don't play games downstairs. Well, not like we have money for either. If you didn't spend 200 pounds on your mobile game, you could have a desk right now. That's a different budget, okay? <laughs> so true. So true. Gotta get those anime waifus, am I right, chat? Those anime... anime femboys. Pile of Beefwords comics. I thought people re read these online nowadays. I don't want to hear this from the person who still subscribes to physical newspaper. You pay for physical newspaper? On the book's cover, two people are sharing a warm embrace. Huh, which one is the girl? Well, uh, they're both guys. Do you have one with two girls? My bad for assuming. Do you have one with two girls? Yeah, that's your bad. It's 2024 already. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. Yo, no hate. Yo, no hate. Maybe I just want to see some girls. What? What the hell? Bro? When are you going to clean all that up? I'll get to it eventually. That's awfully vague. You're never going to do it. I will eventually. I will. Eventually. But, okay. Jeez. You know? Jeez. What if the femboy looked a lot like a girl? Sometimes you got to know. Dig through the trash. Alicia, what are you doing? I just suddenly got the urge. What are you, a dog? Stop doing that. There's only trash in there. You dig through the trash. <laughs> Do it again. It's empty. Shit. Surprising a well-stocked fridge. I used to not use it much, but Buford cooks a lot. True. <gasps> Made? His favorite color is red, huh? <laughs> okay, we went through that door. There's this door. I don't really need to use the bathroom right now. Okay. Oh, newspaper. Let's see. Tragedy repeats. A century-long curse. Extra, extra. Staff wounded. Okay, tragedy. Okay. Haunted theater. In recent history. Rosemary Theater's paranormal presence has fizzled out to mere rumors. But after a series of incidents targeting the stage's beloved star, Estrella Flaysteed, could it be that the ghosts are back with a vengeance? In the past, similar, similarly big actresses had disappeared from the theater without a trace. Insiders say that those that had vanished are always the theater's most beautiful. Perhaps a supernatural admirer has taken a liking to them. That's our client, right on the on the front page. Front page, huh? Bigger case than I expected. I don't think they have all the details made public, but she said she'll give us the details when we get there. I wonder how she even found us. It's not like we're a big agency or anything. Is that... Is that newspaper written in... What is that? Is that even a language? I don't know that one. <laughs> I don't know that one. Is that French? The French! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe those ads I put up on the internet is finally working. Maybe. I'll be impressed if it really is from that. Anyway, let's head to the theater and get to work. Yes, sir! Okay. Save. No way your tags say spooky, scary skeleton. They always say spooky, scary skeletons. Always, chat. Oh, I got a little buddy. Let's go to the lower floors. The other way is closer to the parking lot. Okay. Hmm. What's up? Just thinking of what tools will we, will we need. Oh, 
That's not me. I'll take the camera, the, th th the thermometer, the spirit box. Will we need the EMF meter? Meter? When does that thing even ever work? I think it looks cool though. I guess we can leave it. We still have flashlights on the car. And I can use my phone to take pictures and record things. Did we forget anything? I think that's mostly it. You can use your tools to check the presence of ghosts. Most of the time it will come back a negative, but don't lose hope. Damn. Even the game doesn't believe in ghosts. A dried up white lily. Someone gave me this some time ago. No wait, it's been years, right? Okay. What were you working on earlier? Boring stuff. Mortgage payment. I thought you said you paid this place off. I haven't, but they sold me this building for cheap, so it's not too bad. The agent told me it's haunted, but there's nothing in here, right? Eh? You might want to check that again. Why? <laughs> okay. Oh, look, it's your ordination certificate. Each year, they still send me emails to ask if I want extra copies. What can you actually do with it anyway? Funerals and weddings. Well, I know who to call for a free wedding and a free funeral. I don't want to think about that yet. <laughs> Is it just me or did the number of suspicious objects in this shelf went up? It's not just you. Most people ask me to hold on to their haunted objects. In quotes, because these items don't actually do shit. You sound disappointed. Oh. No. No, chat. No. No. No! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> running into some difficulties, chat. We might be running into some difficulties, chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, uh... I'm thinking we save often. I think I think we we need to start uh, saving a little often, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Already, baby, ten minutes in. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure he gets some of this dialogue. I don't know if it matters, but okay. What about down here? What about over here? What is that sword? Wait a second, sword? Actually, why do we have a sword here? Bit decor, I guess. I also swing it around when I get stressed. You should give it a try. I'm not sure if I'm even strong enough to lift it up. I'd rather try less strenuous stress relief methods. Yo, that is the most crazy cool thing you can do. Just walk around with your sword and swing it. Yo, guys, what's up? Hi, hi, hi. I've never seen you actually using this board. Really? I guess I've been busy. I used to stare at it more often. Oh, did business boom more after I started working here? Something like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, they said there was no more tools. Was this? Nothing, really? Okay. Okay, let's leave. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Office to the theater. The ride only took 30 minutes, but Buford fell asleep anyway. Buford? There's some kind of crowd. Whoa, I guess it's to be expected, but still. Don't get lost in the crowd, all right. I'm neither that short nor irresponsible. Guess the play just got a lot of attention. Say, Alicia, do you actually know how the Nutcracker goes? Might help with the investigation. Uh, enlighten me. Enlighten me. Nutcracker is a classic. It's about a girl named Clara whose godfather gifted her a Nutcracker for Christmas. At midnight, she woke up to check on the Nutcracker, only to find giant mice in the living room. Wait a second, I do know this story? I do know this, this story. Chat? Chat? Oh my god. I watched the Barbie movie of this. As a child. Oh my god. Barbie. Based. Then the Nutcracker also grew human size, and they fought the Mouse King together. Then Clara distracts the mice with her shoe. Enough for the cracker, Nutcracker to deal the killing blow. The Nutcracker suddenly turns into a human prince and led her to his kingdom. As a sign of gratitude, after they have a party there, Clara then woke up again in her living room with the, nun, the, the Nutcracker in her arms. Odd. Someone told me that once that princess, princes are the one who's supposed to save princesses. Huh? That's, not, that's how old fairy tales go, but nowadays, a lot of stories subvert it. What do you think makes someone a prince, then? I... 
I think it's the son of a king. Uh, family line? Being the son of a king? I think as long as the princess thinks of someone as a prince, they are one, though. I mean, that, too? That's so. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Plaque, a plaque stating that this theater was built in 1940. Relatively, it's not actually that old. Some buildings in this area are even older. Why are buildings in London so damn old? That's not that old. Okay. Tickets. Tickets! <laughs> Look at this crowd, chat. There's like five people here. Posters of multiple shows are lined up here. These posters are all focused on the actors and actresses, huh? Does any of them catch your eye? Not really. They're all pretty, though. Maybe it's because I'm not too feminine, but I've always been fascinated with beautiful women. I'm giving them, like, just my normal voice. What is that emote, chat? Chat, you better put those cheeks away before I clap them. Before I clock them. No, isn't that because you're... <clears throat> Actually, I'll let you figure that one out yourself. It's my nut crack. You cracking some nuts with those, chat? Figure one out. Hi. <laughs> They're not letting anyone in. Can you believe it? Okay. Oh, the game took control. Let me in. Stop right there. Only employees are allowed to go in. We were hired by one of your actresses. Yeah, she told us to meet her here. Were you? Where's your proof of employment? Beeford. Uh, it's in a phone call and she talked really fast, so I guess you just have to take our word for it. That's a bad excuse. I bet you two are just one of those pesky reporters trying to get a scoop. We're exorcists, actually. <laughs> exorcists? That's the worst lie I've ever heard. You're clearly not a priest. You two don't even look like one. Where's your cross? Why does everyone say that? We really should start wearing costumes. <laughs> what would it look like? <clears throat> What's all the fuss? Isn't it part of your job to keep them down? Uh, right, ma'am. Wow, these designs are so good, though, actually, chat. These two weirdos are claiming to be exorcists and won't go away. Shoo! Miss Flaysteed, right? We talked on the phone. Oh, you're the guy that I... I did hire them. Let them in. You did? Isn't the police already looking into it? What good are they for? They've been ignoring my concerns for weeks now. If they actually listened to me from the start, none of this would have happened. So don't tell me what to do. Uh, uh, of course, ma'am. Follow me inside. There's too many annoying onlookers out here. Out of curiosity, how did you actually find us? Phone book. You weren't exactly my first choice, but the others said they were too busy to come at a short notice. Good to know. So, how much do you know about the hauntings? Only the basics. I watched the broadcast and read an article in the newspaper. Something about beautiful women being targeted and disappearing in the theater. Right, I don't know what this damn ghost problem is, but it's been getting in our way. I thought such an old rumor won't affect us, but... Well, you heard about the disaster from last night? What should I ask about? Um, let's ask about weird things? Some of my things have been missing. My costume's ruined and they left threatening messages on my desk. They just sound like an asshole, dude. <sighs> the lights have been randomly shutting down when it's, part, when it's my part on the stage, too. Seems that something has made me their target. How are you sure that the supernatural is involved? The thing is, I'm not. I thought it's just your regular workplace bullying, but things had started to escalate too much. Your regular workplace bullying? It's not too uncommon in this line of work. Especially when someone stands out too much. They want to knock them down a peg. Yeah, that makes sense. Still messed up if you ask me. And you think they're, they're targeting you because you're the theater's most beautiful? Wow! Well, not to brag, not to brag here, but I am the most famous actress in here. Don't know if I'm the most beautiful, though. It helps, but acting is not just about beauty. It helps you catch the audience's attention, sure, but if that's all you have to offer, they get bored fast. Like, you have a certain air to you, Miss Wilkershire, but I'm sure you'll stiff it up like a board on stage. Oh, I have no interest in acting, so you're probably right. At least you have the height. You could be tree number three. Don't you smirk while saying that. You'll make a handsome tree, at, le at least. Can we be get back on topic? Something that's not my non-existent acting career. Which I ask about? The disaster. 
You watched the broadcast last night? We did. I have no idea what exactly happened, though. The transmission got cut. If I recall correctly, you were being pushed by someone. Yeah, that was the person I hired before you. What? Another exorcist. Not exactly. He called himself a paranormal investigator. Oh, sorry. i That's what I called them. Whoops. He's convinced that this place is haunted, but before he could confirm the details with me, well, the stage lights fell on him. <laughs> and you were the original target. I think so. I was shocked when that guy suddenly jumped on stage, but turns out he was pushing me out of the way. I see. My condolences. He's not dead, at least. He's still in the hospital. My condolences. <laughs> And his partner is still around. When I told him I found someone else, he said he wants to talk to you. He has a partner? Like a work partner or partner partner? I don't actually know. Maybe both? He does sound quite detached. Said he couldn't work while his partner was in the hospital. That's why I called the two of you. It was pretty annoying to deal with. Alright, we'll look for him. I hope this guy's not actually trying to not trying to pick a fight. What should I ask about? That's all we need. I do have to leave now. I have an interview at the TV station. I'll give you my number in case anything happens. I might not be able to pick it up, though. Busy day. Please get this sorted out soon, okay? We're on a critical time here. I'll do it when I want. Alicia, if I ever get it wounded in the middle of a job, will you keep working? I would. I'll have to find out who did that to you, right? Hmm, okay. I can accept that. Haha. <laughs> Drink up. Okay. Yummy. YouTube, hydrate right now. Do a sip for me. Do a glug glug. Choke. As long as you're happy. Okay. What is this? A gold statue of the theater's founder, Windy Bell. <laughs> Whose name is Windy Bell? Weird taste. I agree. She had it made for the theater's opening in 1940. For the opening? Jeez, talk about horrible budget allocation. Hey, maybe they had more than enough. Who the hell is that? Yo, bro, yo, bro's got an Usopp-looking nose. Bro's glasses are huge, bro. Bigger than mine. What is that? Got that pencil nose. Got that Usopp nose, dude. Some props from the theater's first play. Phantom of the Opera, huh? Odd first choice. Can that be related to what's happening on the theater? The story's about a theater sec theater's secret admirer that trapped a girl, right? It's more complicated than that. I guess it's a possibility that we could consider, though. It's a real skeleton? What the fuck? It's like they're asking to be haunted. Apparently they used it in an actual place, too. That can't be sanitary. Description says it's donated, at least. We won't be seeing any angry spirits soon. I know they used real skulls for Macbeth plays. They did. Have you heard of the Macbeth curse? No, what is that? Apparently you can't mention the play's name in the theater outside of rehearsal or you'll get bad luck. Alicia? Aren't we in a theater right now? Why are you mentioning it? Well, I don't really believe that shit like that. We're exorcists! Please start believing that shit! There's actually a non-supernatural explanation for it. Hamlet plays tend to be big budget because of the big cast and multiple sets, so if it doesn't go well, the theater goes bankrupt. Well, that's interesting, but I'd still rather not risk it. <laughs> hey, that teddy bear is pretty cute. Nice, nice, uh, what is happening, chat? <laughs> it's from a play, 30 years ago. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen apart. Under the right conditions, fabrics can preserve well. Looks like the other costumes were also from the same play. Peter Pan, I think. Okay, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, you! Your nose isn't that long! Excuse me, I saw you talking to Miss Flaysteed earlier. By any chance, are you the new investigators that she hired? That would be us. We're not exactly investigators, though. We're exorcists. I see. I haven't seen your face around, so I thought it might be you. My name is Caspian Patel. I'm a paranormal investigator. And my partner is... out of commission, unfortunately. I heard the news. How was his condition? Luckily, the doctor said the injury isn't fatal, so I'm not too worried. He tends to be... on the luckier side. Anyway... That's good. I'm sorry I couldn't stay, but I thought I'll pass on our investigation result first. That's generous of you. It's the least I can do. I truly apologize for the inconvenience. We really intended to see this case through. Let's ask first. The information. 
we looked into the background of the theater, and the rumor itself is greatly exaggerated. It's true that a few actress had dis actresses had disappeared, but most of it can be explained. I suspected as much. How exactly did they disappear? <sighs> One of them passed of illness. One of them ran away with her lover, and another simply transferred to another theater. Okay, come on, guys. That's not haunted, okay? Although, there are two actresses in particular that disappeared without an explanation in the 1950s. Their names are Catherine Bell and Willie Russell. The two were the theater's most famous actresses in their prime. Until they both disappeared suddenly. With both of their main stars gone, the theater almost went bankrupt. This incident was what kick-started the rumors. The other members of the theater started to speculate their whereabouts. And it all went out of hand from there. They just linked it to the other incidents, huh? That seems to be the case, but... My partner seems to be convinced that the theater is actually haunted. He's far more sensitive to the paranormal than I am. Like a sixth sense? Something like that. He's rarely wrong, so I'm inclined to believe him. You hear that, Alicia? Maybe we'll actually see a real ghost this time. Won't that be great? Sorry, we got too many jobs where it's just a false alarm. No, it's alright. As someone in the same line of work, I understand. <laughs> About Caspian. So you're an exorcist? Not exactly. We're paranormal investigators. But the actual exorcisms, we leave that to someone else. Our work only extends into confirming the presence of the paranormal and help guide the clients to the next steps. Oh, you should call us sometime. We could use the extra work. If the case is a good fit, I'll consider it. Nice, here's my name card. Ah, this is mine. Caspian's name card added to the inventory. Um, okay. Uh, since when do you have those? I made it using the office printer. I do feel bad for passing this all so suddenly. I'll contact you if something comes up. Are you not able to continue the investigation alone? Do you not just- do you just not like the client? Beeford? I mean, his partner went to the hospital to save her, and she doesn't seem to care much. It's not like that. My boss insists that we all have to wor always work in a group of pairs. According to her, it's too unsafe and unreliable for someone to investigate the paranormal alone. I won't throw a case just because I don't like the client, but... I don't like the client. <laughs> It's true that I'm not particularly fond of her. Mind you, it's not just because of my partner's hospitalization. She is a quite difficult personality. My partner was usually the one who talks with her. He's the one who handles the communication? Yeah. He said something about being used to intimidating women. <laughs> me too, man. Me too. I love me some intimidating women. Am I right, chat? Whatever that means. I don't think Flay Steed's really well liked by the theater's members either. Sorry, I'm usually not one to talk badly about my clients, but I thought you should know. It might be relevant. Revelant. <laughs> I see. I only talked to her briefly, so I haven't m catched much of her personality. But I'll keep your warning in mind. Okay, that's all. I apologize that I can't be of more help. I have to head to the hospital and check in on my partner. No apologies needed. Thanks for passing on the information. I think some of the theater's personnel is still around. They'll know more about the hauntings. Good luck. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> What's this? An old photo of a play. A couple of guys dressed up all fancy. This could be any play. Looks like Greek mythology. Okay, wait. We're gonna save? Because I keep forgetting. I have to save. Hey, there's a vending machine. Can I get something to drink? What should I get for him? Water, lemon tea, or soda can? Water. Just water, really? The other drinks are almost the same price. Isn't it a waste? Weren't you the one who wanted to save money? We didn't even save one pound from that. <laughs> Oof. Hey, this is a vending machine. Can I get something to drink? Yeah, lemon tea. Hey, thanks. That's my favorite. Share some with me when you're done. Can't you just get another bottle? It'll be a waste. I don't drink that much. <laughs> okay, let's get a third drink. Soda can. Why did you get that? Neither of us likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the dead pet. 
<laughs> That's good. No! No! It... I'm dead. Man, I'm dead. It just crashed again. Alright, well, it's a good thing I saved. Just... Dude, come on. Game! Game, you cannot game. You can't game like this, bro. Okay, let's get him that soda. Let's end on the soda. Why did you get that? None of us likes it. I'm in the mood to try something new? Oh, well, I can still drink it. I'm not happy about it, though. Okay, at least... Okay, I'm gonna get him the tea. Okay, there we go. Okay, chat. No, oh, whoops. Okay. What's this? What is that? What, seriously, what, what am I looking at? <clears throat> Sorry, I still have a cough, by the way. Lingering cough and all that. This screen shows the theater's schedule. It says two shows tonight have been cancelled. Okay. Wait, do you need to use the bathroom? Yeah. Don't leave me here by myself. That's how they get you in horror movies. We shouldn't split up. What? You want to go in with me? Uh, I'll face the wall and close my eyes? I don't think you have to worry, Buford. Only attractive people disappeared in this theater. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Anyway, I'll just hold it. It's not good for your health. Can't be worse than smoking. If you're that self-aware, stop smoking already. No. Okay. Oh god, that was long. Okay, go, go, go. You! So many guests leave their trash behind, so I have to clean the place up and down. People these days really don't clean after themselves, huh? That's bold coming from you. I need to wash your dishes all the time. Oh. Okay, well, I was hoping I could check, like, the trash or something. Woo! There's some people on the stage. Could be the theater crew. They're dressed up pretty fancy. Let's talk to them. They might know something. Oh, th Okay, they did not clean up the crime scene, apparently. Jesus! Excuse me, can we ask you a few questions? Of course, ask away. Wait a minute, is that you, Beeford? Beeford? Ito? What the hell are you doing here? You two know each other? We're, um, childhood friends. What he said, we went to the same school. I haven't heard from him in ages, though. How have you been? Who's the gorgeous girl? Wink. Gorgeous? Something is wrong with this guy's head. Oh, that's a guy. Oh, whoops. It's, I've been fine. Like, I have a job now? That's something. This is my boss, by the way. Alicia Wilk Wilkershire. We're exorcists. Buford here is my assistant. Ooh, that explains a lot. It's a fanboy chant. I did hear Estrella throwing a fuss about hiring someone new. Didn't expect it to be you, though. Sorry to cut your reunion short, but can you two continue this later? We have work to do. Oh, yeah, of course. Let's catch up later. You still have the same number, right? Uh, yeah, it's still the same one. Oh, is that who these people are? Nice to meet you. I'm Mae Gardner. I'm one of the actresses here. Oh, wait, I recognize you. You're the one who plays Clara, right? The lead girl in the Nutcracker? Haha, <laughs> yes, that's me. It's a pleasure. I'm relieved we're getting more professional help. The whole thing is getting really scary. Let's ask. The ghost. It has been going on for a few weeks now, up until the Nutcracker's opening. <laughs> oh no, not the cheeks. After that, things began to escalate. It was more harmless at first. Harmless? What kind of things was it? Well, at first some of her things went missing. She thought she misplaced them. Then she started to get the threatening notes, but she laughed it off. It's not until the performance gets disturbed that she starts taking it seriously. To be honest, I didn't actually see anything. I mostly just heard Estrella's complaints. Until the lights almost fell on her, that is. We were all around for that. So these events only so these events only specifically target her. Since she's the theater's most beautiful? I assume so. The other actors and actresses doesn't have the same harassment directed at them. But tastes vary, right? I don't think she's significantly prettier than everyone else. Huh? You really think so? She's obviously the most striking one. Maybe she got a ghost obsessed with her? I also heard something about the actresses being chosen. Chosen? In what way? That they are the best of the best, so they are taken to perform in another realm. That there's a gateway of some sort here. Huh. That makes even less sense than the ghost thing. <laughs> That's just what I heard from the rumors, okay? Alicia's just hard, man. Alicia's like... 
You're an idiot. <laughs> you believe in ghosts? You're an idiot. Wait, Alicia, you're an exorcist. Alicia? And? The stray of Flayseed. She's wonderful, isn't she? She had always been- she's always been very talented. Even back in school, she already had a fan club. Ito had a fan club in high school, too. He was so popular with girls. Fuck that guy. All my homies, homies hate those guys. Beat him to death with hammers. Estrella was too. She always had this big bag of chocolate every Valentine's. Why are you making this a competition? Her family's super rich too, and she's always been pretty. It's like she's been born, born to be a star. Hammer. Thank you. Thank you. Have you heard of the Flaysteeds family? They're pretty big in the aerospace sector. Oh, it's the same Flaysteed. Yes, I heard of them. They're one of the richest British billionaires. Some people just win the genetic lottery, huh? Right? As strange as it is to say, I'm not surprised the ghost picked her. She does get most of the attention around here. You seem to know a lot about her. Heh, <laughs> that's because we were also classmates. It's by luck that we ended up in the same theater, though. She has a lot of motive right now. You are, you are letting on a lot of motive, by the way, May. It's my pride and joy to stand on the same stage as her. Sure. Yeah. Chat. Hammers at the ready. <laughs> I see. Someone told me she wasn't too well liked. Huh? Really? I think they're just jealous. The ghost. Do you think it might just be someone who has a grudge against her? No way. Our theater's small and tight-knit. They would get caught so easily. Besides, I don't think anyone in the, tro the troop would benefit from this. We're supposed to ha still have another week of show left, but due to the incident last night, everything got paused. If they have to refund everyone, well, doesn't look good. They might have to close. Right? I can't see anyone from the theater doing this. It must be something supernatural. Didn't that investigator say this, said the same thing? That there are spirits here? Oh yeah, everyone thought Estrella was overreacting when she hired those paranormal investigators. But without him, she would have been the one hospitalized. Right? Things got so bad. When do you think you can start exercising? Uh, I mean, I guess I could do some push-ups, like, right now. I don't have enough information yet. Even if it's a ghost, we still have no idea what exactly is haunting the theater. Depending on what it is, we'll have to use different methods. Is that so? Well, I hope you figure it out soon. Let me know if I can be of any help. Let's ask. Uh, did we ask? Yeah, we asked about that. Ito. You were really surprised to see him. Is Ito not an actor? Well, I'm just here to fill a role last minute. I'm friends with some people in the theater. I'm usually more of an indie artist. I'm part of a band. Really? I've never heard of you. <laughs> He's actually pretty big in the independent music scene. You just never listen to music much. Alright, but still, independent music scene? Okay, I listen to, like, indie rock bands, but still. Like, that's still asking a lot, okay? Right? I'm even surprised that they didn't give Ito a bigger part. Haha. <laughs> now you're just exaggerating. I was only here to fill a position last minute, you know? It's enough to make a living, but I won't say I'm super famous. I just have a lot of dedicated fans. Too dedicated, if you ask me. If you want to know more, why don't you come to my next show, Alicia? I've got some extra tickets. Do we... Do we take this? Yes. There's no harm in going, I guess. Are you sure? I think you'll get... You'll find... You'll get to find it boring. Eh? Really? Is my performance boring? Uh, no, it's not. You know I like it. Alicia just has unique tastes. I mean, I'm mostly going for beef word. We're going together, right? Oh, yeah, I suppose we are. That's good enough for me. I'll make it a show you'll never forget. Wink. Okay, that's all. By the way, the theater's closing, so we're gonna leave soon. Let us know if there's anything else that we can help with, okay? It was May. It was May. It was May. It was May. And we accepted a bribe. We're a great exorcist. Step carefully, all right? I'm an exorcist, not a detective. I can be biased. I'm allowed to be biased. The ghosts allow it. The blood. That's more blood than I expected. Looks like it fell from... up there. Whoa, that's quite a fall. How did that guy survive? Guess he got lucky. Might not hit him somewhere fatal. Still, I'm surprised the poor guy's partner could be so calm. Especially, especially with head injuries. Those can destabilize easily. Maybe he just doesn't want us to worry. Professionalism on all that. Okay. What a what a what a set. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm walking on the chalk. 
Okay, the broken lights. Hmm? There's something mixed in with the broken lights. Huh? Really? Where? This is a 9-volt battery? How did that get in there? No idea. Maybe someone dropped it. It's part of the stage. Uh, should I take it with me? Yeah, we'll take it with me. It seems important. Okay, can we... Okay. Uh, the broken lights. Okay. No, wait, I did that. Oh, whoops. The stage. They still have set pieces from the last scene laying around. <laughs> it's the guy's butt plug battery. <laughs> Fell out. <laughs> it was a vibrator. <laughs> Looks like a regular living room. That's where the story ends. Do you not know how the Nutcracker goes? Not really. I don't believe in fairy tales. It's a tale. It's a story. You're not supposed to believe it. Rip. I believe everything I read. <laughs> oh, we're done here. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 wait. Is the battery this guy's? Is it his? Because that was his partner who fell there, right? God, your nose is... You are literally Usopp, sir. Show evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the item. Uh, battery. Yeah. We found this between the broken lights. A battery? It's sticky. There's traces of tape around it. Oh my god, it really was... It really was his butt plug battery. Okay. Alright. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have a bad feeling it might be related to how the light fell. Like an igniter of some sort. A ghost won't need something like this, right? I suppose not, but you should still be careful. I don't think this case is as straightforward as that. Huh. Alright, well, never mind. It was sticky, though. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, they said we could use the items, right? Key item. Spirit box. Doesn't seem to be working. Does this thing actually work? Yeah. Item, key item. Thermometer. It's 12 degrees Celsius. With the weather like this, will we even be able to tell if the temperature dropped? Oh. Useless. Have we talked to everyone? I think they're leaving soon, so... Oh, not yet. I think we did, though, didn't we? Hey, how's the investigation going? Not much progress, unfortunately. That's so. Well, let me know if I can help. Hey. Oh, I can show him the evidence. Talk. Do we want to show him the evidence, chat? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, show him the battery. We found this... Found this between the broken lights. A battery? Hey, the theater uses it a lot. Really? What for? It's a makeshift fireworks igniter. Why would that be there? Is it possible someone burned the ropes holding lights off? A ghost wouldn't need that, do they? Wait. Okay. I suppose not. Hey! It's nothing. Okay, that's kind of random, but okay. You talk to everyone? Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. Okay, let's see what's back there, then. Nutcrackers. Nut. A circuit breaker. Miss Flacey mentioned something about the lights going out, right? Right. Technically, someone could use this to manipula manipulate the electricity. Oh, maybe we should dust it for fingerprints. If it's a person, I doubt they'll be so careless as to leave their fingerprint. We don't have the tools to extract it anyway. That would have made our lives a lot easier, huh? Let's not touch this unless we need to. No, no, no. Let's use the spirit box. It didn't work. Okay. No. Eh, eh. Check everything. Computer, it's asking for a password. Oh, it says there's a password hint. Just click here. The year it all started is what it says. Big as hell. Ni 1940? Well, you don't want it to be too obvious with your password. This is just 1940, the year of the of the place. Hey, nice guess. It's the year when the theater was built. We can browse through it now. Let's give it a look. Wait, that was it. Okay, that's good. What should I look at first? Emails. 
Doesn't seem to be too much used too much. There's an email pinned at the top. To the new employees, remember that the weights on the fourth row is off by 10 kilograms, adjust as needed. Weights? For what? I'm guessing a pulley. That's how they keep things up on the theater. Okay. Security camera. You need a username and password for this one. Passwords behind passwords? We could be stuck here all day. Let's look around again. Maybe someone's careless enough to leave their login details somewhere. Between D. <laughs> D's notes. A stepladder. Could be useful if we need to reach high places. That's not a stepladder. That's just a normal ladder. What's the difference? A ladder is a ladder. There's a big difference! A stepladder has two parts so it can stand on its own. It's so much safer. I guess the distinction is important for short people. I keep telling you, my, my height is normal! You're just ridiculously tall! Feels bad, man, chat. Is, am I... Am I... Am I beefered? Am I beefered, chat? Because I'm average height. I'm 5'11". <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? W what? See what? Maybe I just imagined it. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, God damn it! don't leave. I went like this. Change room? Change room? Okay. I'm not looking at it here. Investigate. To my dar to my darling Ito. Guess this table is his. Ugh, that guy is as popular as ever. It's always been like this since school, you know? Random girls keep following him everywhere. Do you not like him? There was some awkward air between the two of you. It's not that I don't like him. It's complicated, okay? Ah, ah, I see. Also, I haven't seen him in years. If I knew he'll be here, I would have dressed better. <laughs> How about just dressing better for work in general? True. Okay, what else am I snooping on? This table is crowded with presents. The gifts are all addressed to Estrella. They're not kidding about her being the main the main star. A lot of the other tables are empty. There's some sheets of paper on the table. Huh. This must be the threats she got. What? Talentless hack. That's pretty harsh. Get out, you talentless hack. And they got the murder font. Is it? I would have called her something worse. Like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia? I love you. Alicia, don't call girls that. I'm just giving an example, okay? Let's take these with us for now. Threatening notes added to the inventory. Nice. Okay. There's a note in the trash here. It's a handwritten note. Quit as fast as you can. It's for your own good. Okay. It's for your own good. That sounds ominous. These two notes don't make me do make me curious, how though. Curious about what? There's two different senders. They got caught halfway. No, there's two different sen Wait, oh, shit. Uh, there's two senders, right? Because it's two senders because the fonts are different. One used the the genius murder news clip paper clipping different font letters, and the other person just wrote it by hand like an idiot. See, only a true murderer would go to the effort to write a murder note in all different font letters from newspaper clippings and magazines. It's two different senders. The tone of the two letters itself is different, but the handwritten one, from the strokes, the writer's not trying to hide their original handwriting. I'm having a stroke today. So I assume it's because Estrella, or people in the theater, won't immediately recognize the sender. But what about the other letter? They were trying to cover their tracks by doing the cutouts. Honestly, I thought they were just being dramatic. If they're hiding their handwriting, can't they just print it out or something, though? You can't. Any printed text can be traced back to the machine it was printed from. I don't think that's true. I don't think you could... I don't think that's true. Like, I'm pretty sure people get away with printing stuff all the time. But okay. Oh, I didn't know that. The more you know. Yeah, so as old-fashioned as it is, the cutouts are still a valid way of hiding your identity. If there's two of them, who do you think sent them? She could just have a lot of enemies. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. Nothing, nothing was this. Hey, Alicia, you should get one of the. A hairbrush? Oh, the cable's all frayed, though. Is that a hairbrush? How do you use this exactly? Oh, it's a hair iron. Okay, it looks like a brush. To me, at least in the picture. And in the bottom. It's a hair iron. Here, come closer. You just put your hair between the plates like this, and your hair will turn all neat. 
Is it supposed to smell this weird? Now that you mention it, it does smell burnt. Yeah, guys. Just just to make sure, guys, if you ever want to murder someone and leave them a note to let them know you're going to murder them, just make sure you get a bunch of magazines, newspapers, and just start cutting letters out to make it, okay? Printers aren't safe anymore. Wow! The electricity went out. Excuse me. This is God's way of telling you to stop messing with my hair. Really? Let's find a way to turn the lights back on, though. It's annoying. <laughs> um, maybe I should note this down. Hair iron noted to the added. Is it bloody? Is that what it is? It's bloody? Is anyone in here with me? No. Okay. Alrighty. We speed. Uh, I think they'll- yeah, the electric blocks. There it is. Phew, we really don't need the room to get any darker. wonder if this is related to the blackouts our client mentioned. Oh, you're right. But why use a trick like this? Can't they just do it directly? <laughs> the perpetrator could be occupied with something else. Like also being on the stage. Think one of the other performers did it? It's a possibility. Too early to tell, though. I think it's exactly that, chat. I think it's exactly that. Door's locked. Oh, that sucks. I wonder what's behind it. Damn. Locked doors. My greatest enemy. Am I outside right now? No, I'm on the stage. The email said pulley number four, right? Yeah, you think it's something worth checking out? We'll find out. Something fell down in the ground below. I'm just doing it. I'm just dropping it. I'm not even yelling. I'm not even shouting. I'm a krill you with a picture of a zebra beside it. No, you need krill and a whale. It's a pulley system. I don't think we should mess with it any further. Wait, what was that? Oh. Okay. I'm like, okay, what is this? It's a sandbag. Some of the sand spilled everywhere. Jeez, guess we dropped it too roughly. Part of the bag opened up too. Hmm? There's something in between the sand. Let me try to take it out. Huh? Isn't that... Ah! Uh, what the hell? That's a whole human skull! A skeleton? What is this doing here? Wait, a whole skeleton? Oh my god, we should report this! Calm down. The skeleton's not recent. It's too clean. It's starting to fall apart, too. Huh? Look at the cracks. That happened naturally. It's a few decades old, at least. Yeah, back in the day, when we couldn't afford sand, we'd have to kill the interns and put them in the sandbags. Ugh! Nice. Discord says I'm playing Poker Master, chat. Hell yeah, this is Poker Master. Look at the cracks. That happened naturally. It's a few decades old at least. Is that so? You know, Alicia, you often work more like a detective than an exorcist. Like, how do you know all this random stuff? Eh, you kill a lot of people. See a lot of stuff. Wait a second, did you hear something? Sounds like someone's going down the stairs. What if it's the ghost? Don't be silly. Ghosts don't have footsteps. I think. See? You're not even sure. Hey! Wait. How's the investigation going? You... Is the investigation going smoothly? Excuse me, sir. We just found a skeleton. Oh. Hey, what's that slap for? Sorry. You surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, you just slap this dude right in the face. You just like you you take no shit, do you? Sorry, you surprised me. You literally paused for a second there. Delayed reaction. What are you doing here? I forgot to give you this. He added to the inventory. They locked part of the theater for security reasons. I thought I'll be nice and give you the key, but. Okay, wait. Sorry. The skeleton really scared us, so... What skeleton? <laughs> what is that doing here? He screamed louder than Beeford. That's pretty impressive. That's what we wanted to know, too. Let's go upstairs to report it. There's no signal here. Good idea. I don't want to be here longer than we need to. Neither do I. Wait, what? What, I vented? What are you talking about? 
I look like a Wolverine and not a cat boy. Pog. I mean, I mean, at this point, I am a cat boy, but we can still. I mean, I mean, cat boy. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Since it's not urgent, they say they'll take a look at it in the morning. Is it not? It's a whole skeleton. Well, nobody's exactly in danger. Goddamn cops. <clears throat> <sighs> look, the lore changed. I'm a cat boy. I have to deal with that. I'm a cat boy. I'm pretty sure Vin thought I was a cat boy and just used cat boy as a reference every time she drew a clock, so. Cat boy it is, chat. Aside from Estrella, but I suppose she's not here. Right, she has that TV interview scheduled. Now that we have the key, let's investigate- Oh, now that we have the key, let's investigate the other rooms. Oh, wait, before you leave, I also have something to tell you. What is it? Why couldn't you just tell us earlier? Well, I didn't really want to say it in front of May. The girl's pretty sensitive. Well, where should I start? About the show? The show itself is actually a total mess, you know. Huh? But I thought it's a success. It, it, it was even on the news and stuff. That's because you're seeing it from the audience's point of view. Well, as an example, who do you think is the main character of the Nutcracker? Um... <clears throat> wait, what? No, uh, the main character is Carla? It's Carla, right? It's Carla, right? The story is basically her adventure. Right, like most fairy tales, the girl's the lead, and you're following her journey to another world. Yet the coverage of the show doesn't reflect that at all, does it? It's all focused on Estrella and the Nutcracker. Did her performance stand out that much? <laughs> not so much. No! No, God, no, chat. But that's not a good thing in theater, you know? You need to share the stage's presence with others. As an outsider, the tension during the show was really heavy. I did hear that she's not quite, quite well liked. Can't blame them. She's probably more suited to be a Hollywood actress than being in a theater troupe like this. Don't tell her I said that, though. We don't need to inflate her ego further. So, you just didn't want to gossip in front of Miss Gardner, huh? You had always wanted to look good in front of women. How conniving. Eh, I'm trying to help you here. Besides, isn't Alicia here? Come on, man. Don't don't hate him. Come on, man. Come on. He's just being a gentleman. He's just being a gentleman, okay? About the suspect. Have you heard the term, any publicity is good publicity? You think she faked it? Yep, and it worked, didn't it? As good as her performance was, she wouldn't have gotten that TV interview had the show went on normally. For some reason, she'd always been in a rush to get famous. Ah, uh, but this is all speculation, of course. I don't have anything to back it up. I doubt it, because she did almost die. Like, she would have died if that thing hit her, so I doubt it. I would have humored the thought had it not been for the most recent accident. The falling lights? Right. Even if that was fake, too, I doubt she would take that risk. Yeah, no one's gonna... No one is gonna risk getting squashed by a giant light. No one's gonna risk someone helping them to survive. That's, that's too risky. Especially as an actress, she wouldn't risk anything that can harm her face. That too. That too. I guess that makes sense. I really should leave it to the professional. You praised me, but I don't feel ha happy about it at all. It felt more like I was being tested. Oh no, it felt more like I was being tested. Camera! Action! Oh right. Do you have an account to access those cameras? I don't exactly have an account, but I do know the guest login. Wink. Great, can you get us access to the cameras? Let me see, I can't access the history, but I can see the live feed here. They only have cameras in the back rooms though. Most of the valuables are stored there. Cutting costs, huh? Can you monitor it and contact us if you see anything weird? Eh, you're gonna leave me here by myself? Beeford can stay with you. No way, this guy doesn't know how to defend himself at all. I'd rather go with you. <laughs> Jeez, and you used to stick with me all the time too. I can stay, but come back if I scream really loud, okay? I'll try my best. This is not a reassuring answer. That's all. We'll be back. 
change. Was it the mirror? Oh, what the fuck? I knew I didn't click on this. What the fuck? I just, like, thought about it. Right. Doesn't it give you a bad feeling? Wait, what? Does it? Get, get closer. Get closer, yeah. Come closer to the mirror. At first glance, nothing is amiss. No way! Is this one of those mirrors that they use in, like, the interview rooms? To investigate further, you put your hand against the glass. Your hand touches its reflection. Huh. What's wrong? This is a two-way mirror. In normal mirrors, your hand and the reflection won't touch. Wait, what? What? Is that real? He... She put her hand in the mirror, and if it's a two-way mirror, your hand will touch itself. But if it's not a two-way mirror, your hand won't touch itself. It's like a common test. Test. It doesn't always apply. It doesn't always apply. Okay, chat. I'm believing Ginger. In normal mirrors, your hand and the reflection won't touch. There should be a slight gap between them. What? Does that mean someone's spying from the other side? Depends on the mirror's quality? Okay. I think so. Oh, because the two-way mirror is probably really high quality, right? Damn, this thing is sturdier than I thought. We just tried breaking it? If there's a room on the other side, there should be an entrance, right? Yeah, I guess we should look for it. Or we can look for a brick. Sounds faster. You heard him, chat. Brick him to death with bricks. If you break the glass, the repair's coming out of our own pocket, you know. I, I don't think they're keeping this. I don't think the, the studio should keep this this two-way mirror in the changing room. I don't think I think they'll be happy to hear we broke it, chat. <laughs> People are watching us through the glass and we found a skull. Nice. New save. The monitor is off. Training room. Sure. Uh <laughs> Okay, this is just the uh, Pilates room. What is this? Different kind of weights. Oh, these are so heavy. Five kilograms. That's like a bag of apples. How big of a bag are we talking? <laughs> no. Beaverd, how are you my assistant? How big of a bag are we talking about? You can set the temperature here. Why would I set the temperature? Did it actually work? I don't feel the temperature changing at all. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is this where the mirror is? Okay, no, it wasn't. What else save? New save? As many saves as possible. Have to use cans of paint. Uh, chew! This cardboard's super dusty. Just a bunch of old cloth. Nothing useful here. Fish. Chair. A stand with a wig on it. Why does it have cat ears? Meow. Meow. It might be someone's personal wig rather than the theaters. Except if they have cat. Except, do they have cat girls on stage now? Hell yes! They don't. Stop looking so excited. Stand with a wig. Okay. An array of tools. I have them on the car, too, but I guess it's closer to borrow one from here. Not that we need one right now. It feels like this game, everything is so important to investigate. A row of cleaning supplies. Piano? Hmm? There's a letter stuck here. Oh, shit! After her last performance, it felt like time had frozen for her. I was expecting it to be a temporary arrangement, yet she rejected my offer for her to start a new life in America. With every passing day, she just gets worse, not better. She has no desire to move on, her head stuck in the past, as she spent her days watching glimpses of the life she once had. It's that scriptwriter's fault, a play that resonated too much with reality, it convinced me that the edge of realism would make the play of it an unforgettable one, but nothing was worth this tragedy. If I knew things would have turned out this way, maybe letting the truth come to light would have been a lighter punishment. I don't know what to do. How could I abandon my own flesh and blood? I just hope nobody toyed with the thermostat too much. What? Nobody toyed with the thermostat too much? <laughs> okay, sure. That's odd. A play, huh? I wonder which one was it referring to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chat, chat. Spirit box. D not working. Okay. Thermostat? It's 12 degrees Celsius. Okay. All right. Is that ever going to work? Various props and musical instruments is lined up here. Okay. Mirror? No. What the hell am I looking for? It's a replica of some famous painting. I think it's a Monet or something. Can't remember the exact name. Looks pretty, though. Didn't know you have a taste for fine arts. 
I could appreciate other types of art too, you know? Dude. Okay, there's this one painting by Monet. I don't know the name either. And it's like a... Like a... I don't want to say... It. It's like a pond that's like really famous. It looks amazing. And then the, the band goes Starry Night, dude. Come on. You can say you don't like fine art, but when those you, you see those two paintings, there's no way you can tell me you don't like them. They're like the most beautiful paintings I've ever seen. Hmm? Oh, well, shit. It's a script for Dracula. The play was held in 2004. The original vampire story. Tried to read the book once, but didn't get past the first five pages. I read a lot in, the, in university chat. Oh, God. Hard for me to read books when there's not a lot of pictures in it. <laughs> How the hell did you get into medical school? Honestly, I have no idea. That period of my life is a blur now. What do you mean? There's lots of pictures in, in textbooks. It's gotta be. Oh my god, please! Please! How many scripts of Dracula are there? Oh my- Romeo and Juliet. Oh, I know that one. Forbidden love between two teenagers because their families are enemies, right? Yeah, and they all died. Not the best ending. True. What's this? Cheese? Don't eat it. Who knows how long it has been there. Eat it. Take it. Take the cheese. Take the cheese! Script for Sherlock Holmes. The play was held in 1995. The Great Detective. I didn't know they made a play for that guy. These days, he's pretty much everywhere. They need to start focusing on other British characters. Who else do we have? I don't know. King Arthur? I find his legend pretty interesting. Do you know in this game I played, they turned King Arthur into an anime girl? Okay, stop there. I don't want to hear about it. Not Femboy Arthur. It's a script for the Golden Apple. The play was held in 1955. Is it the one where a golden apple said it belongs to the most beautiful and then three goddesses fought for it? Yeah, and it kick-started the Trojan War. Not a lot of these plays have good endings, huh? Nope. It's a script for A Christmas Carol. The play was held in 2002. I've always liked that story more than The Nutcracker. It feels more like a Christmas classic. It's probably less flashy as a play. It's a script for Julius Caesar. The play was held in 1974. Isn't that the Roman guy that got stabbed by like 50 people? And and then Brute? A2 Brute? Yeah, he was pretty apparently a really good general though. He'd be that good if that many people agreed to stab him. Eh, when you try to take over, you know, that happens. King Arthur was a woman! Yes, I think he was our referencing fate slash day night. I do, I do think you're right. Good anime. Well, the Zero one at least. Lancelot's the best. Eat the cheese, bro. Okay, now use, now use thermometer. Cheese spotted. Eat, eat, eat. Doesn't seem to be working. I'm never gonna get to use this. Can I, is there like a way? Oh, that's my phone. What kind of old-timey ringtone is that? It's just- it's just a regular tone! Hey, it's me. How's it going? How did you get my phone number? Why the call? You're like one room over. I said I'd call, right? But that's not important. I think I saw something moving in the training room. Maybe you should check it out. I'm not getting anywhere close to it, though. Good luck. He's scared, huh? Seems so. I can still hear you, you know. <laughs> okay, save. Save, 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 save. Time. Speed. Uh, what the fuck moved? Ooh, ooh, if I make it really cold in here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, these are kind of heavy. Wait, maybe the, the floor? The floor? The, the rug? Make it really cold. You can set. Oh my. We'll be right back. Ah. <sighs> This game, um, this game has some problems, chat. This game has some problems, uh... This game has some problems, chat. Okay, okay, uh... 90 degree- 99! Did it actually work? I don't feel the temperature changing at all. What'd that letter say? Maybe- maybe it's something to do with that one letter that was in the- in the piano? Letter stuck in here. Okay, because it mentioned the temperature. The, I just hope nobody toyed with the thermostat too much. That's odd. A play, huh? 
What what play? Oh shit. Okay, well, wait. Uh so her last paper felt like okay, she started a new life in America with every passing day she gets worse, not better. She's meant to okay, glimpses. It's a scripter is fault to play that resonated too much with reality. It gives me the edge of realism would make the play an unforgettable moment. Nothing was worth this tragedy. Shit. Okay, it's referring to a play. It's referring to a play. You think it's the last one? You think it's the golden... What was that? The golden apple one? No. Which one is it? Julius Caesar, 1974? No, it's not that. That's not realism. What is this one? 2002? No, not Christmas. Sherlock Holmes, 1950... Wait, what is this? I didn't see the year. 50, 1995. 1995. Okay. I mean, 1995 seems pretty good. The Golden Apple, 1955. I feel like it'd be the Golden Apple. I mentioned it earlier, but I feel like it's the Golden Apple because Trojan Apple, like, you know, or the Trojan, you know, like they're fighting for a girl. The ghost is kind of fighting for a girl. Why does Discord say I'm playing poker? Because I am. You guys don't know it, but I got lots of poker tabs open at all times. I'm gambling. I'm I'm a gambler. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's try 1955 and then 1995. Okay, chat. Let's go. No spoilers. No spoilers. Okay, let's try 55. I hear something shifting. Ah, booyah! Easy clap, chat. Huh, oh, I wonder where that noise came from. It sounds close. Oh, this part of the mirror can be shifted around. Eh? Oh, shit! Save again. Can we, can we go? Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh my god! Oh, uh, I think we found the sex dungeon, chat. Oh god. Oh lord. Huh? What's this place? See, it looks like someone lived here. Stop grabbing my coat so hard. I can't help it! This place is giving me the creeps! And this place is really cold. Why don't you lead the way? Ladies first. Now you're ladies firsting me? What happens to ladies first when you always pick the TV channel first, huh? Can we not talk about this when we're in some shady hidden room? Wait, chat. He said it was cold. He said it was cold. Thermometer? It's 8 degrees Celsius in here. That's not even that cold. Hey, isn't that way colder than the rest of the building? I mean, it's 4 degrees less. This room also doesn't have proper heating, so might be that. Maybe we should check this further. The... The spirit box? Hmm? I picked up on something. <gasps> what the? What is happening? What? 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 Let's give this a try. Calibrate the spirit box by stopping the dial as close as you can to the center. HP? MP? What is happening? Is this the thing working properly? What? What? Oh my... Okay. Nice! Perfect! Did I punch it? Did I just punch the, the the spirit box? Is that how I'm checking? Oh, perfect. 97. Hmm, it's catching something. Punching the shit out of my spirit box? Huh, it's working finally. <laughs> the stage watch. Don't repeat. Don't. Oh, and then my hand disappeared. I wonder what that means. I have no fucking clue. Let's save again. Another one. A dusty bed. I don't think anyone have used this in ages. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Ew. Dated posters and articles from decades ago. Most of them seem to cover various performances by the theater. Oh god. Is there a person here? A bunch of ruined dresses. I'm sure it used to look pretty once upon a time. Okay. What's in here? Is this the mirror? A broken sink. Someone destroyed this mirror on purpose. Is that a toilet that's destroyed? Nah. Look at the toilet, dude. An old portrait of two women in another letter. Thank you for trying to protect me, but I still see her face everywhere. I'm sure even if I leave, she will follow me. This is my cross to bear. You've done more than I deserve. Please don't blame yourself, my dearest sister. Ah, uh, if only she was never born. None of this would have happened. 
The rest of the letter is not legible. Did the room's occupant write this? I wonder where she is now. Yeah, it's definitely... It's an old sofa and a couple of books scattered all around the floor. This is all cheesy romance novels. Huh. Even though decades passed, it looks like humans are not all that different. Speak for yourself. I have no interest in these. Based. But not really, because romance is great. Uh, an old sofa and a couple of books scattered around all, all around the floor. This is all... Oh, okay. This is the same thing I read. Is that the poop jar? Uh, did we look in that box? Yes, okay. Uh, it's the changing room. That's so creepy, dude. So the shadow I saw was real after all? Stop gripping my coat so hard. You're gonna ruin it. Ooh, Ooh it is a little creepy. That is pretty creepy to be seen, you know? Do we use the spirit box here too? Doesn't seem to be working. God damn it, dude. Okay, well, very clearly it's not a ghost and there's just a psycho killer in here. Keska say. Eh. It's getting late. Let's review what we know. That message we heard with the spirit box does get me curious. Don't let it repeat. Watch the stage. Maybe we should stay overnight. Something might happen on the stage. Huh? Let's get our stuff from the car then. Where, sh where should we stay? The fitting room? With the haunted mirror? More reason to stay there. Let's set up a camera on the stage too. I think Wendy Bell killed Kelly Bell. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely some sisters. Ah, uh, I have work tomorrow, so I guess I should start heading home. It's okay if you're too scared to stay. I really do have work, okay? Rude. <laughs> Rude, don't call him out like that. Beaford. Alicia. Alicia! Oh. <laughs> at least we slept away from the mirrors. Alicia, wake up! Hmm? What's up? The camera's picking up something. It does, huh? What time is it? Almost four in the morning? What show? You see... Voices are too faint to hear from here. Should we check it out? Yeah, let's go to the stage. Some books to pass the time. Yeah, wait, wait, monitor? A laptop. The camera feed goes here. Couldn't hear it clearly, but I do hear someone talking. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's just go. Save, save, save. Just go to the stage. Damn. Shh, the sound's coming from upstairs. Wait a minute, those voices sound familiar. Wait, it's literally May, isn't it? Why are you even still in this theater? Didn't you already get better offers? Oh, it's just May and the other girl. Do you enjoy looking down on us that much? Stop being dramatic. If you have that much of a problem with me, just be a better actress. It's not my fault you're not even- you're not on the level, that's- What are you doing? Huh? Don't do anything rash, are you out of your mind? Oh my god, May? Ah! Wait, please tell me we caught her. What? You, huh? You're still here? Can I? No, I can't. I, I wanted a full shot. Ugh, Alicia's perfect. I had a bad feeling, I suppose. You should stop making so many as enemies. What? Don't blame this on me. She's the one who snapped out of nowhere. Seriously, May? What's wrong with you? Hey, May. Guess you can never really know what someone's true nature, huh? I knew it was May. I called it as soon as we talked to her. She literally gave us all the fucking motive we could want. I can't believe the cops didn't arrest her. So, the ghost was trying to warn us of this? If I have to guess, Catherine Bell's disappearance started similarly. The way the letter mentioned how the play mirrors reality, there were tight competition between the actresses of who was the mo Wait a second. Is the game saying that the ghosts were real, but they were they were homies? The ghost was a homie? The ghost were the friends we made along the way. The ghost was the friends we made along the way, chat. The way the letter mentioned how the play mirrors reality. Between the actress of who was the most beautiful, Catherine killed her rival actress and the director, her sister, tried to cover it up and let her live in the hidden room, but instead of running away, she spent the rest of her life rotting in there. One of the notes was also a warning from her, huh? Right. 
Seeing two actresses with a similar rivalry, she doesn't want Flay Steed to fall to the same fate. It's safe to assume that most of the sabotages were Gardner's doing. Wait, was the ghost that, trying, that was trying to warn us of her victim or Catherine herself? Do you want to go back and ask? No thanks, I'm tired enough of from all this. Let's follow up later. For now, things look, me look as messy enough for those two actresses. <laughs> I have no idea that you hate me that much. Since when? What do you actually know about me? You barely ever looked my way at all. The truth is, I had always hated you. It's so unfair. As much as I practiced, as hard as I worked, I could never compete with the things you were born with. What a joke. I wish I was born to a rich family too. You know, I never told anyone this since I don't want people to look down on me. But I was actually disowned by my family as a teenager. They only started talking to me again after I became famous. If anything, they tried to stop me from being an actress. Sorry, in hindsight, I should have told you. I never knew it bothered you so much. Despite everything, I do still think of you as a friend. What? <laughs> wow, that is... Wow. What's the use of telling me all this now? You say that, but you never treated me like a friend at all. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, that's true. <laughs> that is very forgiving, though. Wow. Maybe, maybe she'll become a better person. And be like, wow, maybe being mean all the time leads to people wanting to murder me. Oh, shit, I can move. Okay, save. Another one. Are you okay? I'll be fine. This is part of being an actress. But she was your friend, right? I thought she was, but... I'm not so sure about that anymore. They still need to collect my testimony, but feel free to go home. I'll make sure to send your payment quickly. You sure you'll be fine by yourself? Of course. We'll take our leave, then. I suppose it's not like we actually know each other. We only talked to her really briefly. Hello, cops. We'll handle things from here. How did things get so messy? Eh, you know, blood. Good job in ca catching Miss Flaysteed, though. Despite everything, that was actually really cool. It's not really something to be proud of. I'm just glad I'm not too late this time. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, but, but, okay, let's leave. <laughs> Wait, am I just leaving by myself? Okay, bye. Bye, Beeford. Oh, never mind. Oh, Miss Wilkeshire. Good work. Thank you for everything. Didn't expect to see you here. Ah, uh, yeah. We heard from what happened. We heard about what happened, so we rushed here. The police is not letting us inside, though. Not that there's still much for us to do. You should have got discharged faster, Malachi. Malachi. Malachi or Malachi? I'm gonna say Malachi, because that sounds proper, but I think it's Malachi. Huh? It's my fault now. Um, are you even supposed to walk around? That looks faint painful. Don't worry about me. I have a strong head. I should thank you for saying being a Straya, though. We'll repay the favor someday. I think you have Caspian's name card already, but this is mine. I'm pretty sure Y implies Key, Malachi, but Malachi just sounds better. Malachi, like the demon. Malachi's name card added to the inventory. Huh? Why are you giving it to me? Uh, are you not the boss? No, this is the first time someone had ever thought that. That's sexist, Malachi. I don't know, Malachi, Malachi, whatever. Can you not joke like that? They're going to take it. They're they're going to take it seriously. Huh? I'll happily take your name card, though. <laughs> I'll happily take your name card, though. Wait, this card says that you're a math professor? Yeah, only lunatics do this kind of job full-time. Duly noted. <laughs> Malachi, you should stop digging your grave deeper. Well, I think my point still stands. Nobody normal would do a job like this. Yet you're also still in the field. Curious. Why are you picking fights? Anyway, we're probably going to take another look at the theater once things quiet down. Thanks for the help. Really. Yeah, no worries. Oh, sorry, officer. What do you, you have something? You should get going. No loitering. Damn. Save. Save. Damn! One. More saving. Beat this popsicle, San. Excuse me! 
You know, in the end, Miss Fleisty didn't even pay us that much. What the hell? We saved her life! Well, I don't think theater actresses are paid as much as you think. You know, I thought Alicia would be happier, but she seems the same as always. For getting paid? No, she never cared much about money, but she always had- she had always talked about how she wanted to see a real ghost and stuff. Huh? She doesn't seem like the occult type. If that didn't satisfy her, maybe she's actually looking for something else. Wait, are they on a date right now? Wait a second, are they on an ice cream shop date? Wait a second, that's so cute, what the hell? <laughs> that's so cute, but what about us? We were supposed to go to his- we were supposed to go to his concert! Maybe she's actually looking for something else? Something else, huh? Enough about her, though. What about you, Wink? You look much better than the last time I saw you. That's a low bar. But yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of work, and Alicia can be surprisingly nice. Really? That's hard to imagine. I think she just doesn't like you because, in her words, Ito looks like a womanizer. Eh? But I have my good points, too! You're not even denying it anymore, huh? <laughs> Damn. I agree with Alicia, not a fan. Doctor, it's time for the operation. What the hell is this? What? Excuse me, what is this, dude? What is this? A, eight, C, A, B, C, dad? What the hell is this? Medicine ampules, what? What? What is this? We. That's a, that is, it was your fault, wasn't it? Don't think you can forget everything so easily. To be continued! Yo, a game made by Spikaze. Spikaz? Spikaze. Yo, another game down? I think there's another ending. I think there's a bad ending. The next part is already in progress. That's awesome. Thanks for playing. No, thank you for making this, dude. This was a fun game. We're gonna go for the other ending. Okay, okay. Uh, they got caught halfway. That was the wrong thing to say. Guessing someone found out they're, they're the one responsible for the letters. So they changed their letter style to pretend the other letters are from someone else. Would the other performers know something about it then? Maybe we should ask around tomorrow. Okay. Now? Now drop the bag. Yes, the email said to drop number four. Okay. Then we go here. Then we go here. Boom, 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 boom. Skeleton. Okay, and I think I think the secret is just gonna be don't go to the secret room. Like just leave. Like just leave. Just get the hell out. Excuse me. Uh excuse me. <laughs> wait, ex excuse me, wait. <laughs> Clock, I hate you. Devil's Avocado's having a rant in here. I just noticed that. Clock called me ugly. Vin told me. Don't interact with the letters. Okay. <laughs> why did why did Vin say I called you ugly? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Vin said it. It's true. You're ugly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I don't know why she would say that, but it's plausible. May said nobody would gain anything from this, but it did work out in her favor. Hmm. Maybe we should take another look at the things we collected. Um camera. Okay, you go look at the camera, sir. That's all. Yeah, I don't know why Vin would call you ugly like that, but I agree with her. Ah, oh, training room. Do I just have to put in the code? Maybe I do have to go to the hidden room. No, no, no. Maybe I just leave. It's my phone. Yeah, crazy. Okay, wait, wait, save. Sure, this save. Sure, this save. Just leave. Yeah, we didn't find anything. Show evidence. Um, the threatening notes? I'm an amateur, so I'm not exactly sure what this is. Uh, show evidence. Anything? Holy water. Flash them. 
Wait, wait, what did he say? Nothing showing with the cameras, but it's pretty nerve-wracking to watch alone. Don't be a coward. Huh? Yeah, don't be a coward. Stupid. Everyone left already. Guess it's just you and me. Maybe we do have to find that secret room. Okay, maybe we do have to find that secret room. But maybe we just don't use the spirit box? Maybe? What was it, 55? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's just find the notes and get out, I think. I think that's the secret here. Okay, and let's leave. Let's see what happens. No, god damn it, dude. God. I didn't save. Not recently. Oh my god. <coughs> this is like the most scuffed video I've had in a while. Chat. <laughs> Silver thread, but evil. I just want to see the other, the other, the other ending chat. How many, how many crashes is that, by the way? <laughs> I love it. Okay, wait, wait. Saved. Save the run. Okay, big. It's getting late. Let's review what we know. I think we have more questions than answers. Same here. I don't think we have anything conclusive. Let's ask around more tomorrow. Let's go home, then. What do you want for dinner? Whatever's fine with me. You say that, but you always complain when I can't cook anything with spice on it. British. <laughs> Can I come too? I'm getting a little hungry. I guess you did help. Even though you're just sitting around. Monitoring is still an important job, no? Hmm. <clears throat> Do you think we came too early? The theater's still empty. I guess we did. Let's look around while waiting for others to trickle in. Maybe we'll find something new. I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's just go inside. <clears throat> but this is definitely the other ending, chat. Oh! Eh? What happened here? That's... Oh! Oh! What? Uh... Alicia? Alicia! What is it? Are you okay? I've been calling you for a while. I'm fine. Let's just take care of this. I don't remember much of what happened after that. <laughs> Everything went on autopilot. With our client dead, there's not much that we can do. The officer took our testimonies and sent us home. There was a brief uproar about the haunted theater for another week or two. Then the media moved on. With that, the incident comes to a close. Uh... What? I leave? Oh. Hey, the ice cream shop down the road is 20% sale. Let's go get some. You can go by yourself. I'm not in the mood. Isn't it freezing outside anyway? When are you ever in the mood? Let's go. I'm not eating that much ice cream alone. All ending. We're poor. Why are you even still here? Hmm? Did you say something? It's nothing. Whatever. Let's go. The end! The two continued their work, but with so many questions left unanswered, their heart is not in it anymore. Nowhere closer to the answer that she seeks, the office eventually closes its doors. Oh, that's sad. Estrella Flaysteed's autopsy report, time of death around 4 in the morning, cause of death, blunt trauma to the head, falling from a high place. Game over. Oh, okay. Alright, so that's Silver Thread, the good and the bad ending. Wow. Okay, I like how here, by the way, that um, Alicia looks really feminine, like here, but in the game, she doesn't really. The unsatisfied ending. Bad ending has some extra character lore in case that ends. Well, I mean, the bad ending was interesting, I won't lie. That was, that was kind of cool. I like it. I like the game. There is a prequel to this, by the way, that we did not play. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been meaning to... There's, there's two other games by this developer that I've been meaning to play. I just haven't played them, <laughs> chat. Sorry about that. Um, we'll play the... Pre to be fair, I read this and it said you could play this as a standalone game. And you really can. I think, uh, I think the extra, like, lore isn't too important. But we're going to go for it. We're going to play it another time. So you two be on the lookout for that. Uh, and if you're not subscribed already, subscribe so you can make sure you see the playthrough, okay? I think it'll be fun. So, yeah. And YouTube, if you like this video, please leave a like. I really appreciate it. Uh, if this is your first time seeing the PNG Tuber, let me know how you like it. I'm loving it so far. It's awesome. It works awesome with uh, these RPG Maker games, too. Uh, <clears throat> so, thanks. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, to all my current subs out there, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching my shit. It's bad, so <laughs> I appreciate it. The Vart, for real, for real. Vart is good. Vart is great. Um, I'm hoping we can get some more stuff for it soon. Uh, people have been telling us in the comments on YouTube videos of what we should dress Clock Up as, so I can't wait for that. Yes, Symbiosis is the other developer's game that's not connected to this, I think. I think. Um, I, I want to play Symbiosis. Uh, it's actually funny. I never played it before. The reason I haven't played Symbiosis is because I watched Vin play it. <laughs> and I helped her get the other ending. <laughs> and I don't really like to play games, uh, like, I don't really like to play games that I've already watched or played already, but I will play Symbiosis eventually. There's a hint that connects this game, the prequel to some, uh, sim, the prequel to Symbiosis. There's a hint that connects this game, the prequel to Symbiosis. I don't know what you mean. Is there a hint for both games? I assume that they're in the same universe. If that's, if that's what you're, what you're mentioning. Yes, I assume the Doctor thing was probably a big reference. So that would be cool. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry, YouTube. Have a good one, guys. I really want to see you in the next video. So this has been Clock. Bye. <laughs>